Hello, I recently came across this pie chart and as you can probably see it's done with JS and SVG and my first thought was in 2018 we can do better. We can do it less markup, less CSS, less JS and no SVG at all. So let's see how we can do that. So we start with an object where we have the years and the values for each year. And then we create a wrapper element. So um, wrap, okay. Um, and then we loop through this uh, object. So um, uh, this property is going to be my year in this object, okay. And here I create some more uh, radio inputs. So input type radio. Uh, we give them the same name, which is option. Uh, give them IDs, and these IDs are going to depend on the year. So I interpolate that here, um, and then I add labels. But first, let's make them uh, checked, because only the last one is going to stay checked anyway. Um, this is um, something we'll be changing a bit later, but for now, just leave it like this. Um, so now we have the year, and then we have a pi element. Now we're going to generate some um, percentage values, unitless percentage values, and these are going to be custom properties on the pi, depending on which of these uh, checkboxes is uh, checked, radio buttons, whatever. Uh, so uh, style, and again, I have the same loop here, and um, so if the current one is checked, so I'll uh, just interpolate the current year, checked, uh, followed by the pi, the general sibling combinator, um, and we set this unitless percentage, and again, we interpolate the value for the year. So this means, let's see, let's see the compiled code. So let's look at this. So if the first one is checked, then uh, this uh, percentage, unitless percentage, is 20. If the second one is checked, then this unitless percentage is 26. And for the last one, it's 29. So yeah, this is um, it, basically. Now let's move on. The thing is, the pie chart, we do it with a conic gradient. And this is only supported in Blink browsers with the experimental web platform features flag enabled. And um, that's pretty limited support, so we'll do um, a fallback first. And this is going to be a bar chart. So, um, padding uh, something like this. Let's set the background just so that we can see it. And that's our bar right there. And of course, we'll be using a linear gradient, and it's going to be left to right, so that's 90 degrees, followed by a stop list. So um, stop list is going to be using those uh, two colors from before, of course, kind of separated. Uh, but the thing is, I want a sharp transition because I want something like a bar chart. So um, I'll be using that percentage, and since it's unitless, the way I have it, I need to multiply it with 1%, uh, and I want, as I said, I want a sharp transition, so that's going to be 0. And now, as you can see, if I change this, this uh, also changes some. Okay, now, something else I want to do is also display the volume, and I'll be doing this with uh, an after sila element. And uh, let's position this relatively position this absolutely um, and I can't put the custom property into um, uh, the content but I can use a counter hack so um, counter reset and here content counter and as you can see I have that and Let's also use the percentage. Now, something else uh, I want to do is um, transform minus 50%, minus 50%. Okay. 
Okay, so this puts it right in the middle. And I want to also change the font size. So um, let's um, also change the color. Color, make it white. Um, font size, um, that's 2ms, let's say. Like this, and it looks a lot better. Uh, let's see, what else do I want to do? Border radius. Five pixels, something like that. Um, now let's set a few generic styles. So um, let's say I have margin zero. Um, I want to have font inherit. Okay, so this is for all elements. Um, let's do something nicer. Something like this, um, and this should look better. Oh, one M. Let's also set the line height while we're at it. Um, now on the wrapper, um, I'm going to set a dimension. So uh, this uh, should work nicely. Um, let's also set a display flex, line item center, uh, justify content center. And the reason I'm not using grid and place items is because I do want to have a fallback and uh, the uh, grid thing with place item center center is not going to work in edge. Uh, so yeah, that's why. Here also display uh, flex, uh, flex wrap, uh, this is going to be wrap reverse uh, and also justify content center uh, okay uh, and here what i want to do is set a height um actually make this uh, min height okay so um, as you can see this works nicely Something else uh, I can do is add a transition uh, for uh, this uh, changes in between states. So the way that I do this is adding a transition on the percentage. But in order to have a transition on the percentage, which is a custom property, I need to register it. So CSS register property. Um, and here I have a name, which is uh, B as mentioned before. Syntax, so this is basically the type, initial, um, inherits, true, um, okay, something is messed up, and I think I know why, this is stupid, but, uh, well, it's a fix. Okay, so now if I add a transition, this is going to change smoothly, as you can see. Okay, so now that I've done this, I can uh, move on to making the pie a pie. So I'll be using a support. background, I'm um, sorry, conic gradient red 10. And the reason why I'm using uh, these colors is because they're the shortest named colors. They only have three letters. And uh, fun fact, they're also the only named colors uh, of three letters. Okay, so having done this, let's use some different values here. Okay. So, first off, the spotting is going to be just uh, 50%. This is going to be 50% so that the whole thing is round. Let's make this uh, conic and remove that 90 degrees from there. Okay, so now as you can see, the slices uh, change. Okay, but what I want to do is put this text 
in the middle of the slice. I don't want to add an, ed an extra transform in this cell case, in the fallback case. So I'll just uh, be using a position custom property, which is just empty initially. So that's um, unquote, uh, just space, nothing. But here I set the cell position as being rotate an angle and then translate by. So I rotate this such that it's uh, it goes straight through the middle of that slice. And then I translate this by half a radius because I want it to stop at the middle of the distance. Here on the circle, it's a radius. In the middle, it's half a radius. So half a radius is a quarter of the diameter. So that's going to be calc a quarter 0.25 times the diameter. Okay, so now this angle, the way I get this uh, angle, first off, the direction of this uh, text is like this. Uh, I want to rotate it up, and that's going to be minus 90 degrees. So minus 90 degrees. That's the first thing. Now, the next thing is going to be um, rotated. So to not, uh, minus 90 degrees, that's uh, not clockwise in the other direction. Then I'm going to rotate it clockwise by half a slice angle. So that's the, uh, half the central angle of the slice. Now, the angle of the slice is 20% um, in this case of the whole full circle. So that's the percentage over 100 times the full circle. So that's my unitless percentage. And this is why I'm using it, uh, using it unitless, because I can't divide by a value with a unit inside the calc. So um, divided by 100 times one turn. And this is my whole full slice. But I want to go through the middle of the slice and not uh, through the end of the slice. So I need to uh, divide by 2 or multiply by 0.5. I also don't want the text to be rotated. So I need to reverse this rotation. So reverse this rotation means rotate and uh, multiply this angle with minus 1. So put it inside the calc and multiply with minus 1. So now that I've done this, oops, sorry like this. As you can see, it moves nicely. Okay, now the last step here would be just uh, pretty find those um, buttons because they look kind of ugly. So I'm pretty much done with the pie, done with the body. So here just um, input type radio. Um, just absolutely position them and um, move them outside the screen. Sorry about the rain. Um, then I add the labels. Add a margin first off. Um, something like this. A uh, type, sorry. I didn't really get what was happening there. Okay. So set the background. Something like this. Okay, this looks nice. Um, a padding. So it's smaller laterally and uh, it, it's bigger laterally, sorry. Smaller uh, vertically and bigger laterally. Okay. Also add a border radius, um, something like this. Okay. So I'll also add box shadow. white. 
okay then checked um, reverse all these things from here so um, make the color white something like this and also make this inset minus one something like this um, something else I want to do is font size increase that so I can have bigger labels Okay, uh, something else, cursor, pointer, and uh, transition. So that I have something nice. Okay, now a few small tweaks to the markup for accessibility. Um, what I want to have here is a volume which I don't set to anything initially. So uh, here I have, if this value isn't set yet, then I'm setting it uh, to the current year value. And this uh, checked is um, if the value is the current year value. So uh, now this only makes uh, the first one checked that's good now something else i want to do is create an array this is an empty array initially then i keep adding to it so um, that's some um, for the current year, which is P. Okay, and here I have so do something like this on um, volume. Okay. Let's see what this results in. Okay, this looks good. Uh, and one more thing. One final thing right here. Okay, so um, yeah, this is pretty much it. This is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video and if you have and you want me to be able to do more stuff in the future and not end up dying in a trash can anytime soon, please consider supporting my work. You can do it in one of the ways explained in the description below with a donation or you can make this kitty very happy by getting her something off her Amazon wishlist. Or you can support the implementation of uh, the stuff mentioned in this um, video. Uh, you'll find some links in the description below. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days. Because honestly, I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.